Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Police Channel in EssenceOfMe.com. I'm coming to you all today with a so new, I'm going to call this a vlog because I'm not all set up, but I have some, th some stuff I want to show you and I want to be able to get it on camera so that I won't open it and forget it because I need to use it. So if you're interested in seeing what I have in this box, for my swap partner as well as this package which is for an upcoming project well then and you know what I'm gonna also show you some other things that I just recently got in if you're interested in seeing it then stick around and if you caught the tail end of that title it's called blocked blessings I'm gonna tell you about a recent experience that I had at my local quilting shop and um, and that's really was the blog portion of this video. So if you're interested in hearing, grab your tea, grab your coffee. I'm not sure how long this is going to be. You all know how I do. <laughs> we'll stick around. And um, for everyone that, if you must part, I'll see you next time. For everyone else, go grab your stuff and use this as a time to knit, crochet, so if you got to crank up the volume, you know, do all of that. And I will talk with you after the introduction. I'll see you in a bit. chat video let's get this party started kind of feel like pink but not 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 really <laughs> let's go see you in a bit how are you i hope that you're well i am gonna have this be very laid back because i really should be working and i have not recorded and so recording just seemed like the easiest thing to do so that may be kind of lazy but it's okay <laughs> And um, so I hope you're well and that this message finds you well, as well as your family. Today, I have a little bit of this and that. This may be a long video. It could be short. I have no idea. I, um, You will know better than me because you will see the video. <laughs> and before I get started, I'm going to show you all one of these nifty dipty things that I um, recently purchased that I am in love with. I told you all to go grab your tea, go grab your coffee. Well, I am currently... I want to call it, I'm doing a reset, a body reset. And so if anyone is interested in finding out more information about it, let me know. If it's more than a few people that are interested, um, I've been thinking about doing some regular vlogs on um, doing a juice and smoothie. Um, I don't want, it's a mixture between a detox and a cleanse, quite honestly, but it's a reset for me. So if you're interested in finding out more information, let me know in the comment section that, hey, I'd like to see those vlogs, Dana. Go ahead and say it like that because I can't read between the lines. I got to be specific and so do you, okay? So this um, and what that has to do, have to do with this is I purchased this infuser. Now, it's it looks like not as appealing because usually when the water is full, the fruit is floating and it looks all pretty, especially when it's strawberries inside. But this is um, water that you place fruit inside of this little compartment and you sit it in the water. So today I have um, pineapple, mango, blueberries, and I have lime juice in here. And this has been so good. I just love it. I gotta make sure I lock it in here good so it won't slide around. I just do. And the thing about it, whenever in my family tastes it, they say, oh, if you just add a little sugar. So I don't add any sugar or sweetener or nothing like that. And it's just really good. It's something different than just regular water. So that's it. Let's get to the good stuff. I have mail. 
I have my swap package and I have some goodies I want to show you. The first goodie that I want to show you is um, something that I showed you last time on my last So New vlog. And I'm going to show you this. Oh, first, look. I have on my Crafty Gemini shirt. And, oh, and I'll tell you about my hat after I finish showing you this so I can put it back on the floor. This is my bag. It has my name on it. This is a bag that my daughter purchased me for Christmas. And my, one of my favorite colors. You can't really tell because it's background again, but it's um, a turquoise. And inside here today for my quilting meeting, I took my Quillo as well as my container. Remember I showed you the containers last month? And so here's the container. And I wanted to show you all how it would all come together. So in here, I keep the receipts for any purchases that I make for additional fabric. And I'm going to show you inside. Like we just received our new block. So here's the new block of the fabric with the instructions for the block. And here is my most recent block which needs some help but hey i'm I'm a newbie <laughs> here's my new block oh there and there's some quite a few areas that i can improve on what was awesome is that as i go to this block a month i'm able to talk to different people that are doing the same square and it's helping me to Learn the basics. That's what's happening. I'm just learning the basics. <laughs> so that is how it all comes together. I put that inside of my bag and I'm able to take it in and have everything all together inside there. It's like my shawl and I had my uh, beverage because we stay there for like an hour and a half, an hour or so, like 45 minutes to an hour, maybe more. And so that's how I go to my meeting. The other thing was I said I was going to tell you all about this hat. Now, if you are new to my channel because of sewing or quilting, well then, I knit and I crochet. And this was my very first cable knit slouchy hat, which I have on today. And I have finally figured out how I like to wear my hats without any issue. So, um... Another thing, if people are interested in that, let me know. But this is just easy, especially with it being cold. And this hat can actually go over my ears. But I'm one of those people, like, I feel weird when things are on my ears. So I just, I don't really care for that too much. So at the most, it'll cover the top. And my ears are small, so usually when something is on it for too long, it makes them sore. So that's not even about the hat. <laughs> and so that's this hat. I guess I could... Let's see. I think I could. Here it is. The cables. And this was my first cable hat. This hat is like holding out that uh, to the point where I am going to make another one. But I want to make another one in. Um, I want to make it in. Uh, what do you call it? Baraco. Baraco Comfort, which is the fabric that I, I mean, the yarn that I use. I'm talking about yarn. Oh, I can't help it. It's the yarn that I use to make my other hats. And it's just become a go-to and a favorite. So I want to make the same design in that. And I think those cable stitches are going to look beautifully with it. So if I, when I do, I'll, I will definitely show you all that. So to my sewing and my quilting. The first thing I want to do is do an unboxing. Ooh, 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 ooh. So here we go. This month <clears throat> in the Crafty Gemini Quilt Club, we were swapping. We were swapping. This was so smart. We were swapping zipper pouches. Zippers. That's all I can say. Oh. She did such a beautiful job packaging here's the box oh and it's taped close oh. ouch that's not nice we did zipper pouches i will insert the zipper pouch that i sent to my partner here and um 
Man, those things are just so hard to do. Okay, I got to She did so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to have to send her another gift because mine's was Okay, here's the first thing. It's a pin, which this looks like a hat pin, but I could use this when I do my um, head wraps, and it has my name on it. Look at that. And this beanie bag thing. I think this is meant to be like a pin cushion because look. And it has sand or something inside. How cool is that? And then here's the zipper pouch. And she um, did um, quilt it on top with some turquoise thread. And she did a little flower. Oh my goodness. You did so good. Look, here's turquoise on the inside. I fought with my zipper. I'm not even going to tell a story. It's got the little thing. It's so cute. And this fabric. This is so vibrant. Oh, I would love some more of this. Look. It's just so vibrant. Awesome! Yay! I'm going to have to contact her. She's going to be like, you do not. I'm going to send her a little extra something because my, I think she's going to like my pouch. My pouch is good, but I didn't send extras because I didn't know. I'm going to use everything she sent me. That is awesome. This month's swap is going to be a lot easier to decide what to, to pick. But, yes. Okay. That was my swap. Okay. Now, the other thing that I have is for this month, we are making wallets. So, there's a wonderful vendor on Etsy. That was recommended to us. And she provided a wonderful coupon for us. And it's called Zip It Zippers. So here we go. Oh, here's her little logo. This is what it looks like. Zip It Zippers. Oh, you see my... Yeah. That's just my melon address. You know what that is. I just... Um... So let's crack this baby open. I hope these zippers go better than the last ones. Because I will tell you what. How adorable is that? Look. It's like a little thing she provided. I'm going to use this for my bag. I purchased... Okay, they had so many different zippers. Okay, here's the details better. And they had all these different colors. I didn't know, and I had no idea what. I have no idea what that is either. I had no idea what fabrics I was going to use. So what I did is I went ahead and just ordered and ordered black zippers. Uh, we're going to make wallets, and I'm going to make wallet to match the bag that we made. Well, this uh, this the project for March is a wallet. So I'm going to make the wallet to match the bag from February. And what I also decided I wanted to do is add a zipper to my bag. Now, I don't know about you. And I'm going to open these so that you can see them. She has a ton of different zippers, but I chose purse zippers. Because I'm a person that on a bag, I will use a zipper. So here are the, um, I think they're 8 inch, 8 inch zippers. 
And I got the purse ones because they just look like they were just sturdier. Nice little hefty. It's not nothing cutesy about that, but that's that's the real deal. And then I purchased a few 24-inch zippers. And I want to use this for my bag. I don't know about you, but when it comes to my totes, I like to have a zipper on it. So many totes and project, like carrying project bags, I've seen are just open and I do not like that. Um, I don't like it when people can just look inside my bag. I'm short. So when I have my bag on my shoulder, if you're sitting next to me, you can just look up right over my shoulder into my bag. I don't need you all in my bag. So <laughs> I like to have zippers. And even though I fought with my other zipper, I'm going to give the zippers another try. I mean, the only way I'm going to learn is to keep trying. So with that said, that is my order. You all will see if I'm successful in adding the zipper to my bag. No, I will be successful because I'm going to use that bag. I worked hard on that bag. And um, I will share with you all everything once it's all complete. And I'm, I think I'm going to end up, because I'm making the projects match, I'm going to, and here they are again. I'm going to make one video for March as well as February. And it looks like I may be done early because I'm doing them, finishing them up together. I needed a few supplies when I got to the end of my bag. And so I had to order them. I don't know how I overlooked it, but I did. And so that was my order. The last thing that I have, I don't know why it is that the more that I've been drinking water, the more I want to drink water. And this just makes it easy. I need to refill it. Another thing that I um, did is I had a special discount to purchase some items on Annie's catalog. I've ordered from them before, but they have been starting the video classes and you can access them online or you can access by the DVD. I purchased a couple of the, no, one of the art ones online for my daughter and she loves it. And so I all, um, I've tried the online version and I wanted to try the DVD version. So I'm going to show you some of the DVDs that I purchased. I have not watched them yet, but I plan to, um, I plan to do that. Actually, I'm starting today, which made me think to record. So here are the DVDs that I purchased and I'm going to go through each one. The first one is learn to make a quote from start to finish. This is, um, it says exclusive brick and stones, beginners quilt pattern included, pattern CD included. It's with Nancy McNanley. It says in this video class, you'll learn how to choose the fa perfect fabrics for your quilt, which quilting tools are your best buys, how to cut and piece each quilt block, how to get a perfect one fourth inch seam allowance every time. Lord knows I need that. Time saving tips like chain piecing, marking, pinning, and more. How to assemble a quilt sandwich, how to sew on the binding. And there are um, projects in here with that. The next video is learn um, to quilt as you go with instructor, um, the same instructor. It says five exclusive projects included as a part of this class. Um, and they're included on a CD as well. It says in this video class, you will learn how to create projects from the basic sew and flip method. Quilt a stash buster strip pieced uh, table topper. Make a French braid design with zingers. Create a gorgeous Bargello style quilt with varying shades of color. Join quilt blocks as you go with channels, channel link and sashing. Applique motifs as you go. And um, add a sew and flip border around your quilt in machine sewing the binding. Oh, this one is 2 hours and 35 minutes. This one is 3 hours and 20 minutes. The last, I mean, this one is a learn to machine quilt. It's a new instructor. This is with Wendy Shepard. 
And it says, in this video class, you'll learn which threads, needles, batting, and notions work best with machine quilting, how to comfortably maneuver your quilt sandwich for free motion quilting, how to practice straight line stitching, cross hatching, echoing swirls, interchanging and swirly vines, jester hats, pebbles, and stippling while creating a tone-on-tone -tone quilt sampler. Look at that. Can you see the sampler? It's kind of hard to see. This is an hour and 35 minutes. This one I'm extremely excited about. And the last one that I have is Learn to Sew, a designer handbag with Nancy Green. And this comes with four, oh, and I didn't say this. This has eight free motion quilt techniques that are taught in this video. This one has a four handbag pattern options included in this class. And so here it is again. This is three hours. And it says, in this class, you'll learn how to perfectly measure and cut fabric pieces, create a piece front and back, create a button loop closure, insert a magnetic purse snap, create outside lined pockets, sew an inside lining with pockets, add tucks to create bag shaping, add bag ties and straps, use fusible materials including fleece, heavyweight stabilizer, and extra firm stabilizer to give your bag shape that will last for years. It says build your sewing skills by learning how to make bags. And so here is that. Now, you may think, this is much longer than I thought, but you may be thinking, why get the DVDs if you're in the quote club and you're doing the block a month? What I am learning um, so far is that there is a gap when you are, at least I feel right now, there's a small gap between some of the basics when you are doing a project, a specific project. And what I want to do is it doesn't mean that I will do all of these projects. Lord knows I probably won't do even half of them, but I will watch all the footage. I'm a person that when I learn, I I can learn, like I can watch stuff and study and then it goes into my head and then right when I need to apply that lesson, it will, I will have a recall of how to do it. And it, and I'm sure everybody has that to some extent, but where it serves me, I don't know why my nose looks sh super shiny. I just got out of the shower, but anyways. <laughs> Where it serves me well is in crafting because, for example, when I make a crochet blanket that I add fabric onto or that I add fleece onto, it's not like I saw this person do this tutorial or somebody else do that tutorial. It's usually that I saw bits and pieces and at the time of making the blanket, I decided what pieces and what techniques would serve me to complete my current project. And I think that is part of the gap. Since I don't have a lot of familiarity with it, my grandmother sewed, but I wasn't around. My mother sewed, but I wasn't around. They both sewed clothing. They did not sew um, blankets or quilts. And so I find that there are some natural innate things that are in me that I don't have when it comes to the sewing. It, other than the, the, the desire and the fact that I've wanted to do it for so long and the fact that I'm a I, I'm a crafter, so I get it. I feel like crossing over from cr crocheting into knitting, those two mediums were so similar that a lot of that was transferable. And now I have it with knitting because of just hours and hours of knitting. And I found a lot of the other techniques through doing specific patterns. And so I'm hoping that these videos will help fill in some of the gaps like one of the big issues I had with my recent block was not quite sure where to place the piece of fabric that I needed to sew. Like, do I make it flush at the bottom or even with the top? Or do I have it hanging um, to um, a half of the quarter? I guess what a one eighth is half of a, of a quarter. I don't know. Don't give me the line. Yes, I believe it is. Yes, it is like one eighth of an inch on top and then one eighth of, eighth of an inch on bottom. Like I didn't know. And that caused the whole thing to go into. Well, I was just like, I'm done. I was cutting all kind of stuff off. But that is not how it's supposed to be. And when I told the lady, she's like, what were you cutting? I was cutting off extra fabric that was hanging on. <laughs> I'm 
called the end of my piece. <laughs> <laughs> that was not supposed to be there, but I didn't know where to place it. So I did the best that I could. I did the best that I could giving written instructions. So I'm going to talk real quick. <laughs> if you have any questions about any of that, the videos, anything, just let me know. Okay. You all know that. Just put it in the comment section. And um, I'm going to close this out with blocked blessings. I had an experience with my um, one of, well, I'm fortunate that I have several local quilting shops around me, as well as my local yarn shop that does quilting projects. So I'm fortunate in that respect, um, as far as my area is concerned. But I went to one in particular and my daughter and I went and we, and it just, it just felt not good. It felt so um, unwelcoming and I just felt like I didn't know if I wanted to go back and I my daughter went with me and when we left the room she just or we left the building she just said did you feel that and I was like yes because it was just an uncomfortable feeling just so uncomfortable and I just wanted to chalk it up to being a new face a new face um, I think when I looked around the room, I was probably the youngest person there as well as having my daughter there. So she was the youngest in the room. And so um, I just decided that I wanted to make this quote and I was going to show up to the next meeting, whether I felt comfortable or not. And I want to say this to anybody that is trying a new project. I hope that my crafters um, that are um, crocheters and knitters are also watching this video because so many people stop me and you see something like, Oh, I wish I could do that. I've always wanted to do it, but I just, I just, I just have two thumbs or my fingers are all thumbs or, you know, whatever the sayings that people do, you know, don't block your blessing by you being the blockage. And let me explain that. Sometimes we've got to be put in uncomfortable places so that we can receive what we need to receive to go to another level. And so that may be that in that situation that I have to endure being uncomfortable so that I could be blessed in order to take whatever I want to do to the next level. Now, we could immediately think, oh, this has to, this this is in relation to being a better quilter. You could say that or being a better knit, knitter. You could say that. But in this case, it was that and then some, okay? So I'm going to continue my story. So we I go back this month and I'm determined I'm going to have on my Crafty Gemini shirt. I had, you know, the members in the group and on the Facebook group, like cheering me on, like you can do it. Some people was like, you brave. Cause I wouldn't have went back. <laughs> and I was determined. I'm going to get there and I'm going to get there early. I'm going to sit on the front row. I'm going to have my coffee. I want you to tell me something. That was not the right spirit. I'm just going to say, yeah, it was the right spirit. So what happens in real time? <laughs> Real time, I get there late. <laughs> and it was late because I thought it was at 9.30 and it really was at 9 o'clock. But the meeting was still going on, which was fine. But here's how wonderful um, God is. And I believe it's a God thing. He is so wonderful that um, I get there late, which means I had to stand in the back of the room because the room is full. I stand in the back of the room and there's another couple of ladies that are just standing there because they're a part of the meeting, but I think they're also volunteers. And one of the ladies, we just started talking and, oh, and I, you know, we talked real quick and I just, she just felt welcoming. And that's something I did not at all feel the first time. So that was a bonus. I go, it was a show and tell. I show my Quillo and it was received well. People had a lot of questions. They wanted to see how to fold it, which I could show them. And I was so proud of my little baby quilt. So, you know, that was a proud mama moment. And so that was good. And then I went back to where I was standing. And because it was so crowded, I had to stand around. And well, I had to wait. And as I wait, I waited, I talked to this woman. 
we found out, well, she liked my hat. I said, oh, well, I made it. She said, I crochet. I said, I crochet too. I said, I crochet and I knit. You do? So it just started up a whole new realm of conversation. We talked, we talked, we talked. And as we were talking, one of the things that she leaned in and she told me, she said, do not let um, the environment discourage you. Now, I told this lady nothing about going before. She was not at the last meeting because um, the a group of the members were, or a group of people were away at another location for like a field trip that they do from time to time. And she told me that, not knowing what my experience was like. I was there in like, I'm going to, like, you're not going to make me not be here. I didn't say these things, but I was just like, I was like bracing myself for, you know, to be a repeat. And we talked and we talked and we talked. And to the point of this video, how you can block your blessing is when we get, number one, distracted by other people. I could have done it better. I could have let people just do their own thing. I do my own thing, but I let whatever it was, that feeling to almost sidetrack me and not go back and not participate again. And I would have truly been, I would have missed out on meeting her. I would have missed out on having that conversation. And for that conversation, I would have gladly gone to that first meeting. So number one is don't focus on other people's, whether it's negativity, nastiness, ugliness. If you have to try and try again and something's not nice and it's ugly, we know that sometimes people do not know that we may already be in a sensitive situation about our stuff. And they just say something and that just causes everything to explode. I mean, how many times have you tried a new craft or you tried a new venture or you've tried a new thing and you do not continue because at the pit of it or at that uh, crux of learning and trying to embrace it, some negativity derailed you and you never got back on track. Okay, so don't focus on other people's negativity is the first thing. Number two, don't you be the blockage of your own blessing. You see, pride would have me to say, I don't need to be there. You see my neck roll. Y'all know how I do. I don't need to be there anyway. I don't have to go. I have the Crafty Gemini group. They're nice to me and I'll just stick with them. I would have blocked my blessing. My blessing is that there is something that can be had from being in relationship with people face to face. Online is wonderful. Type in a comment is great, but face to face. And when you're doing crafts or you're doing life, you need to lean into somebody that can relate to what you are doing and where you are going. So do not block your blessing because you are focusing on what other people are saying, what other people are doing, and you allow what they think. To change your thinking about you and what you are doing. Number three, get yours. Now, I've been trained in speaking. When I do my when I do my sermons, they're all put together. When I do my Bible studies, they're all put together. But this, it don't, it doesn't rhyme. It doesn't matter. But what I'm telling you, you know this is truth and this is real talk. So number three. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. That means do you. It means you're going to bump along the way. You're going to roll along the way. You're going to lose your way and find your way again. It doesn't matter. Stay the course. Stay the course. You see, I wanted to do this quilting thing because there has been this quilt that has been inside of me for about two or three years. I didn't know what to do with it. Didn't know how to make it. Didn't know where to start. So last year I said I was going to pick up on it, but I can't make what I feel is inside of me if I don't know what I am doing. I don't know a needle from a thimble from, you know, I mean, I know a little bit, but you get what I'm saying. I can't let, number one, other people's negativity or other people's words to distract me. Number two, I can't allow myself to block my own blessing. Because if God has given me that vision, then I'm responsible for bringing it forward. So then the number three is I got to do me. 
if that means I got to sit and listen to people or it may feel kind of awkward or whatever, it may mean that you need to find another location maybe. It may mean that I'm going to go ahead and I was prepared. I had my paper and my pencil. I knew what my questions were. I, I talked to the designer and I didn't know how she was going to receive it because I don't see other people asking questions, but I was going to ask my questions. I was just going to do it and they could choose to not answer it or to answer it. That's just how I roll. You don't know till you try. But I was not going to allow any of that to stop me from being able to birth what I've seen. So I'm going to leave you with that. All of the unboxing and all that, that's wonderful. But I want to leave you with that because there are so many of you that send me messages. Oh, I'd like to, but. Oh, I want to. Hmm. Da, 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 da. I'll listen to that. But I'll tell you this. You will always have an excuse. Always. Always. Excuses are everywhere. So if you want to do it and really do it, that's three tips to get you started. Don't listen to negativity. Don't block your blessing. And do you. Those three right there. Case closed. Okay? So, in love. <laughs> Let me know if you all have any questions. The meeting today went wonderful. What the lady said to me really is not even of huge relevance as far as the specific words that she said, but she spoke some things that she didn't even know that I'd already been wrestling with, even things concerning this channel, and she didn't even know. So had I not gone, you know, God will find another way. But that was a very, he will find another way in order to get our attention. But I find that when he does in a place where you're sensitive, where you're kind of on the fence, you're more aware of it because you already are unsettled about the way you feel or you're unsettled by the way things are going. So when he deposits something positive, truth in a loving way I mean girl I hugged all on that girl yes I'm a hugger I hugged all on her and I and she loved it at least she didn't tell me she didn't <laughs> and it made my day and I hope this makes your day okay so I am out yeah that was awesome okay Comments, questions, or concerns, put them in the comment section. I hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, tell me so. Say, Dana, I enjoyed the vlog. If you're interested in hearing more about my restart that I'm doing on for my physical, um, for my health, and for my mind, let me know because I have been recording videos, but I have not made them public. Number two, if you are interested in finding out more about anything that I have um, in this video, just let me know because I won't be doing a detailed blog post. But if, if there's anyone that is interested, I can put the information inside of the description section like I did on the last video because I did get questions. And I don't mind that. I want to be of service to you. It's not just to sit and listen, which I appreciate that. But I want you to be able to use this and to do something and it doesn't always mean quilting it doesn't always mean sewing it may be that you needed to hear this just like i needed to hear from her so whoever you are you're welcome <laughs> so have a fantastic day i look forward to seeing you all hopefully sooner than later as always you can visit me online at essenceofme.com if you ever want to send me a private message and not a comment through YouTube, go to essenceofme.com, go to the contact page, and whenever you submit something um, in there, it can be, I've had people submit letters, okay? It comes straight to me, and I do respond, okay? So take care, have a fantastic day, and goodbye. Oh.